Hi everyone, this is an Amalgia video for Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Nintendo Switch, and today we're going to be talking about how to get the vaulting pole and the ladder. As you may have noticed, rivers are blocking access to certain parts of your town. It's the same with cliffs. But in order to cross the rivers, you first need to get the vaulting pole. To get the vaulting pole, the first thing you need to do is unlock the museum. I already put up a video for how to do that, but the quick explanation is that you need to give Nook any combination of five bugs or fish, and then he'll give you a tent. You go place the tent marker somewhere in town where you want the museum to be, and a day later, Blathers will move in. Once Blathers' tent is set up, just go inside and talk to him, and he'll start a conversation where he thanks you for your hard work and asks you to find fossils. He speculates that the fossils may be on the other side of the river, so he gives you the DIY recipe for the vaulting pole. Once Blathers transfers you the vaulting pole recipe, you can make it inside Nook's tent, or if you've made your own workshop, you can make it there too. The pole only costs five softwood, and it never breaks, so it's extremely useful. If you're not yet familiar on how to get softwood, hardwood, or normal wood, all you have to do is get a flimsy axe or a stone axe and chop a tree. Each tree in your town will have three pieces of wood in it per day, and the type of wood you get from chopping it is random. Don't worry though, as long as you're using a flimsy axe and a stone axe, you won't actually chop the tree down. You need an iron axe in order to be able to chop it down into a stump. Once you have five softwood, you'll finally be able to jump over rivers to your heart's content. Once you've earned the vaulting pole, you can finally move on to getting the ladder. After your first home loan has been paid off, talk to Timmy in Nook's tent. He'll tell you about a proposal he has, where he wants to open a shop, but he needs 30 wood, 30 hardwood, 30 softwood, and worst of all, 30 iron in order to get it built. The woods are simple enough to gather, but the iron will take time. But there are some tricks that can be used to speed up the process. If you haven't seen my short video on how to make the most of the rocks in your town and get max resources from it, you should check that out so you know the strategy in order to get 8 materials out of a single rock. With access to the vaulting pole, you should be able to find more of the rocks in your town, but there's still only 4 or 5 that you'll have access to. Make sure to hit the rocks with your tools in order to get resources, but the real way to speed up gathering 30 iron is to know how to use Nook Miles tickets. If you're interested in Nook Miles tickets, I have a video up on how to use them and how to make the most of them, but the basic idea for this video is that by using Nook Miles tickets you get access to about 3 or 4 more rocks, sometimes 5, if you get lucky when you use the ticket and get a randomly generated island. All the materials don't need to be donated at the same time, but he'll only accept a stack of an item from you if it's at 30. Once you have your stacks ready to donate, talk to Timmy in Nook's tent and click on About Building a Shop. Hand over all the wood and the 30 iron nuggets, and Timmy will give you a store tent marker that you can place in town. I personally find it helpful to place the tent somewhere near my home so I don't have to run very far to get to the store, but the positioning is up to you. Once you've placed the shop, you need to wait a day in order for it to be built. Keep in mind that when you're placing a building tent marker, if it's overlapping any flowers or trees, those flowers and trees will be instantly destroyed the second you place the marker. Once the store has been built, enter Nook's Cranny and you'll get a cutscene with Timmy, Tommy, and Mabel, a reoccurring character in the Animal Crossing series. The store gives you access to more furnishings, and also if you click on the cabinet you can buy flowers, DIY recipes, and if you hit R, you can move over a tab and buy walls and floors. With the shop now built, head back over to Nook's tent and he should tell you about a problem he's having, where he sold land to new villagers, but doesn't have time to build the homes he promised them. Once you agree to help him, not only does he give you the DIY recipe for the ladder, but he also gives you a bridge construction kit so you can finally build a permanent bridge for crossing a river. Keep in mind though that the bridge construction kit will only let you build one bridge and is not a recipe for building as many bridges as you want. Once you have the ladder recipe, head on over to the workbench and get to crafting. The ladder costs 4 wood, 4 soft wood, and 4 hard wood in order to make. It was a lot of work, but congratulations, you finally have access to your full town and can enjoy all that space to the fullest. 
the ladder will never break. And something to keep in mind is that you can actually make vaulting poles and ladders and gift them to other players who have not yet unlocked them. Likewise, if you're having trouble with these initial steps, but you know someone who has Animal Crossing and has an extra ladder and vaulting pole, they can visit your town and gift them to you so that you don't have to do these initial steps right away. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.